Pink Dolls! Alright, so I managed to find the Series 2 Palace Pet Blind Bags at Walmart and I spent um, a few minutes uh, feeling them to see if I could feel and find out which ones I already had and stuff. So I'm hoping that one of these or a couple of these I don't already have. I think one of them is Slipper, uh, but we'll see. Uh, and I also did vlog my adventure trying to find them, so if you click the little eye on the top right hand of the screen right there, and the video will drop down and you can go watch it. It is on my vlog channel, so you can check that out. But today we have four series two that we are going to open, so without further ado, let's rip on into these guys. Yes! We have one I didn't have before, and this is Summer! Summer is um, Rapunzel's little kitty. Doesn't seem to have as cute of a paint job as the other ones. She's kind of just like a basic yellow. She does have a cute little braid in the back and her little cutie mark. I call them cutie marks, but her little paw print back here is gold. And then her bow is like a pink. And then her crown is like a pinky purple as well. So she's cute. I like her. She's just really, really bright and yellow. She's coming off a little bit brighter on camera, but uh, she is still adorable. So I'm glad I didn't have her. Yay! All right, number two. Oh, I didn't open that one very well. Uh, let's see here. We have, <gasps> yes, we have Slipper. Okay, I felt these guys really good. Like, I was literally sitting in the store, like, feeling like this and then feeling where their crown was and then looking at the pictures on the package to see if I could tell whose crown was on who. So this is Slipper, Cinderella's kitty. And this one is so cute. Turning it around. The little cutie mark is kind of rubbed off. It's not really like 3D. It's kind of just like printed on her little hip right there. But the little tail is so precious. And moving on to number three. We are having pretty good luck. Oh yes, we got another rouge. Okay, so I wanted another rouge because I did put my first one that I got on a phone case and I really wanted to turn her into a keychain to put on my keys or turn her into a purse charm or something. So I am super excited that I got her. And then the last one, who do you guys think it is? Yes, we have Blossom! And Blossom is Mulan's panda. I can't believe I did so good this time around. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I got ones that I didn't have. So there's a little panda. Look at how fluffy the tail is. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. The colors are adorable and I love the painting on this one. It's just so vibrant and just adorable and I love how the crown is pink so it just kind of like stands out from the the rest of it. So there are the cuties from this time around. I am super 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 happy and this is actually a collab with my friend Katie. We had already previously done a palace pet swap but she got a few of these series 2 blind bags as well. So if you want to see which little cutie she got, I think she got a ton more bags than I did about 10 maybe. Um, if you guys want to see what cuties she got, head on over to her channel. I will link the video in the description box below, so you're more than welcome to check it out. And I also have one more question for you guys. When I was at Walmart, I came across this little guy right here. It is a puppy in my pocket blind bag. I did not know they came out with these, and this is series one. I have kind of always loved the the puppy in my pockets when you could like make jewelry out of them and attach them to bracelets and necklaces and keychains. They were super fun and adorable. They are like a velvet texture, so they're a little bit different than like the My Little Pony blind bags um, or the Palace Pets. They're actually kind of furry, so uh, I did only get one, but this is how many I think you can collect. I don't know how long these have been out for. You guys can let me know if you know anything about them in the comments below, but I wanted to ask you guys if you would like me to do a separate unboxing series on these. I will go ahead and open this one on camera right now so you guys can kind of get an idea of what they look like and everything. And if you want to see more, let me know and I can go back and get a few more and maybe start up a Puppy in My Pocket series. Alright, 
What do we have? Oh, wow, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. But their heads don't turn. This one's a lot bigger than I had thought it was going to be. So, this says, ser oh, series one through four. Oh, okay, so it shows you series one, series two, series three, series four. Okay, so this doggy that I got trying to find it on here and they all have little names and everything Ooh, and you can get exclusive pups so these ones are more like Shopkins but I am definitely a puppy person oh my gosh I have shadow from like forever ago when I was a little girl I had I had, I had gotten shadow so, oh, this is Lola, and she is an Afghan, an Afghan hound. She's got some crazy eyes going on. I don't know if you guys can see these, but they're kind of like googly eyes. <laughs> she looks kind of crazy. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the puppy in my pockets in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to start doing these. I can go back and maybe get a few more or something, and then you can check them off just like you would with a little Shopkins. I know I had gotten a ton of requests on Shopkins, but I'm just not a fan of Shopkins, so I don't I don't want to spend the money on something that I don't personally enjoy doing because I just personally feel that YouTube should not only be something that you guys want to watch, but something I want to film. And I just personally don't enjoy Shopkins as much as I do like the little animals. I've just always been more dr more drawn towards the animals and the furry little critters than um, say things like such as Shopkins because they aren't really animals. They're just little random collectibles. I've never really been into those. I've always just been more of a fan of the animals, so I won't be doing Shopkins even though I get tons of requests on them. Just because for me, I don't I don't really have a passion for those or a, a want to collect those. Nothing against anyone who does. Um, I've seen Graveyard Girls videos on them and I can see why you guys want me to do them. Because uh, I really do enjoy watching hers, but I just, I'm not into collecting those. I'm, I'm just more into the little critters and animals, so... Definitely let me know if you guys want to see more puppy in my pockets. This one is kind of an eh one. I could have gotten a cuter one, but I'm not worried about it. It's still kind of cute. So maybe I can go back to Walmart and take you guys with me on a little toy hunt and go back and get some puppy in my pocket blind bags. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. And real, real quick, I wanted to show you guys my new addition. This is Macaron, and she is Aurora's little puppy. I recently got this in a gift package from Katie, the one who I am doing this collab with. So um, thank you so much, Katie. Macaron is one of my new favorite pets. As you can see, she is Beauty's sister in a way. They are little sisters because they are both Aurora's pets and they are just so pinkalicious and beautiful. So I think Macaron might be one of my new favorite pets. So just in case y'all saw her in the background and were curious who she was, where she came from. And also I did recently get this Glow Matey. And you can't really tell right now but he, he does glow. So I don't know if you can tell but when you push his little, his little mark right here his body glows and then his tail glows um, and I recently got him at Target and he is glittery as well so and this is Treasure's brother Matey is Ariel's little puppy mm -hmm.